live in Moscow, and everything is live, no overdubs, and Josh sang his butt off on that thing. Oh, my God. It was pretty amazing. And part of that concert was recorded in front of Putin and all his guys. You could see them in the audience. <laughs> you know. I thought, isn't this funny? Look, look, Another round of vodka for these boys. Yeah, right. Oh, they drink vodka there, let me tell you. They can put it away. Yeah, a couple of guys in the band decided one night, not me, they decided they're going to try to like have some vodka with some of the local guys. <laughs> they, they were hurting the next day. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> These guys can drink. Woof. Oh, yeah. I mean, they, they, as soon as they get, get it fed through the bottle when they're a child, you know, in Russia. Matter of fact, the one night we had a night off in Kursk. And uh, a few of the local promoters and, and their friends said, oh, we're all going to meet down in the bar. We're gonna, and a guy came in and it looked like he had a 15-gallon jug. The whole thing was vodka and he was holding it over his shoulder. And between, I think, about nine guys, they drank the entire thing. Well, have you played in China before? Yeah, yeah. I played in China a few times. Yeah. Did you find the crowd disconnected to what, they were, you, know, to what you were playing? No, no, no. They were they were uh, good. I mean, it's definitely different. Like for example, in Japan also, but they they only clap do, towards the end. Yeah, they don't scream during the songs like they do at Bird Basement or in New York. Yeah, no, no, they don't do that. They don't. Uh, so it's right at the end when you finish this. The, the, the song. The yeah. song, okay. Like, let's say we play a 20-minute song, you know, yeah. like we do. They never clap only when you play the last note, like, yeah. that's when they clap. <laughs> <laughs> My father can speak five different languages. Totally, totally. I mean, that because was, of that. Can, can he speak Maltese? Well, he can, I can. <laughs> 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 it's not that hard, it's bigger. Hey, come on. How many children do you actually have? I just have one. I have one son. So you're not looking at 16? Oh, no way. My dad, when I talk to my dad, he's like, yeah, maybe one of y'all can catch up to me. I'm like, no. Sorry, dad. It's a different day. Different day. Now, just one right now. I mean, I hopefully I'll have more. But just one now. Yeah, my first concert uh, was actually um, my brother. Oh, cool. <laughs> he came to my secondary cool. school when I was uh, in year seven with the Falcons. Oh, great. And uh, it was, m and I put it together with the English teacher, uh, and we sold uh, raffle tickets and we sold lamingtons and all sorts of stuff to try and come up with the 900 bucks that Frank Stavala wanted uh, for the gig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I love, I love London and I like the cold, so. You like the cold? I am. Uh, I like the cold. Bit, bit weird for a southern Italian. Isn't that weird? Um, yeah, I, so I was like, yes, London's a great idea because it's cold. <laughs> I love the cold. It's I was cold. like, I, I, like the, I like the fashion. It was in the British Parliament. Um, yeah, they found some kind of, not a secret room, but a room that had been boarded up maybe, I don't know, 150 years ago or thereabouts and kind of people had just forgotten about it and whatever then they were going over old plans and they realised oh there's this room in there and they went in there and um, yeah and they found you know whatever one of the carpenters or, and th who had you know helped build the place or maybe helped board it up and had written some graffiti you know saying oh you know such and such written his name I was here in 1850 or whatever and he did do that yeah yeah fantastic yeah, yeah. so and so what was this room did it have anything in it like did it have any old artifacts or did it have like Captain Cook's um, plans for his conquering of, <laughs> of Australia I don't think it had anything like that but they apparently it had like some old light bulb that was okay you know built when they were first making light bulbs but yeah apparently they turned it on and it still worked and so I was just sort of going back and forth and um sort of working out how to sort of survive there you know what I mean I'm doing in cam I'm doing I'm doing I'm doing the effects for you right I mean what more do you want I mean it's not that I mean I love nature right but I always feel that I learned so much from the city group. That's good, man. You know what I mean? It's the avant-garde series. <laughs> <laughs> I remember getting off a plane in Siberia 
and I had a big coat on. I got off that plane, and it was the coldest thing I've ever felt in my life. And I got in to the um, to the terminal, and the, the people that were picking us up, I said, I can't believe how cold it is. It's freezing. And they said, it is not cold. It is only cold if you don't have enough clothes on. If you have, and they were like, they had these huge jackets on. And I had a pretty big jacket, but it was, it was at least 30 or 40 below zero. And they said, you should be here when it's really cold. And I said, what's really cold? 100 below zero. I said, I don't think I should be here when it's that. It was uh, voodoo. Do you reckon it had something to do with voodoo? Don't you try to tie this into your brand. <laughs> You know, they get to Flinders Street Station and they're changing platforms with a horse. <laughs> Do you believe That's that? That's amazing. Do you believe that? That is outrageous. What sort of yeah, horse was it? A, a ten, I, ten hands or it, fourteen hands? I don't know. I, I don't know how tall it was, but it was a horse. You know. And you, you know, you go in your hotel, and the water's running in the sinks, and they said, "Don't turn it off ever." Because if you do, it'll freeze in two minutes, and they'll ne- and it'll break the pipes. Unbelievable! Yeah, it's a different thing. That's why we call the black belt. That's so it's right. down in taekwondo. That, but the it isn't only because the original guitarist. I mean, Dave's the most gentle guy. Dave Gibbs was the most gentle guy you'd ever meet. But he was actually a cage fighter. Yeah. You know, UFC. I mean, you you wouldn't want to tangle with Dave. But yeah. I mean, you know, we were the black belts, so we never had any security issues. <laughs> <The> geeks. <laughs> <laughs> was, that was the plus. Yeah. Just again, right next to me, I've got cassette tape. Dat that's, tape. Oh, yeah, that tapes, yep. Dat. I've got two v- very good Dat machines. One of them I got for the cost of a shot of tequila. That's the thing, all those formats, <laughs> no one wants them, so you find them. Look, Max. Hey, hey, Max. How are What's you, mate? I'm good. good. How are you? Uh, it's good to see you, you, you two together. Look at that. The New Orleans group and Donald. I wish Donald Harrison could come through that door. I know. <laughs> <laughs> They're not the first cover band that did Abba songs. I think no, it was because Beyond Again was right. the first cover right. band, That's and right. then Baba was yep. the second cover band. Gotcha. Gotcha. And what most people don't know was that Baba stands for Beyond Again, Born Again. <laughs> <laughs> During the the drum solo, he got up and walked out off the stage, and there was like you know maybe four people in there because it was snowing. You know, no one came. Yeah. And and Mickey, the, the 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 barman, came up to Monk and said, "Hey, Monk, it's one of those nights. Hey, not many people." And Monk said, "Yeah, but you see all those invisible motherfuckers." 